Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I sing So go ahead and enjoy So what's, what's the plan with Jaguar at the minute? Is it on ice? Is it... Well, <clears throat> well, I mean, the, you know... Oh, my, my battery... Is running well. Hey, um, I thought we were going to get a world that, exclusive and he's just gone. I was like, no! <laughs> Macaulay Culkin face was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, you know, Gab's in LA, Jack's in London, and I'm in Byron Bay. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not done. It's definitely not done. But um, at the moment, I'm like, you know, I, I've just come out of like two years of like, you know, getting this club up and running and DJ, you know, really focusing on DJing. Um, and I'm just now starting to get back into production and, and you know, literally like post-corona, like I, I haven't stopped making music again. So I don't know, maybe some of it will end up future Jaguar Mars stuff. Maybe some of it's something else. I'm not, I'm not sure. It it sort of depends. I guess it sort of technically becomes Jaguar once Gab sings on it. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because obviously Gab's doing Golf Alpha Bravo. That's which, right, uh, yeah. It's cool, man. Like surf rock vibes. Yeah, super cruisy surf rock yeah, vibes. Yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. And Jack's playing, playing Jack's in Jack's in pools. <laughs> <laughs> He literally went from making what I heard from all accounts, terrible, terrible coffee in a terrible <laughs> cafe in East London. Yeah. Like, literally, he went from touring with Jagamar to just making coffee for a year, bad coffee, <laughs> um, and doing fuck, sweet fuck all creatively. Uh, and then it was funny because Yanis... Yanis and I have friends, and, and my brother did all the Foles film clips early on. So I've known the Foles guys well before Jaguar as well. Um, and Yanis called me up and he was like, dude, we're looking for a new bass player, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so I ended up, yeah, putting in a good word for Jack, like, you know, really bigging him up, like, yeah, he'll definitely nail this, blah, 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 blah. And then, um, then he did the auditions, got the part. And, <laughs> and this is the thing. He you know, made shitty coffee for a year, two years maybe, actually. Yeah, longer than a year, just doing nothing but making crap coffee. Then finally, <laughs> and I hope Jack's watching this, <laughs> um, finally, um, you know, he gets, gets the thrown the lifeline from Foles and then has the Asia tour booked, goes, plays one show, the first show, like stadium show in, I think, Singapore or something like that. And then Corona kicks in, everything just gets cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's just back, <laughs> back at home doing nothing again. He was this close to being a rock star. <laughs> that is mad, that is mad. Because I, I seen he did a, a charity gig for him. Uh, I think it was That's the teenage. Right. Was it the war, 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 cancer? I think war charity. Sure. I think that's what it's called. But I think he was uh, performing there, and then I was like, "Go on, Jack lad, yes." Is it yeah, war? Yeah. Like what? The... Yeah. Like, no, but he'll it... be he'll be really looking forward to the uh, the laws being lifted and live music kind of, you know operating as it was if if it if it can get that back to that point but um he'll be itching to get out there and play some arenas some rock and roll arenas <laughs> he will get on to his djing as well yeah right yeah i mean i haven't i haven't seen or heard him djing that much so can't really can't. he did come actually he came to he <laughs> he and i played a, a fun little back-to-back -back set at, at um, my club in Byron on, on a Sunday night and Sundays are sort of traditionally a, a bit quieter, obviously like Friday and Saturday, the big nights. Um, so,
So, so it was, we were just having fun and he was just playing some like Brazilian records and, you know, I was just sort of following his lead. Um, and then these two, these two guys kept like sort of falling on the DJ booth, not bumping the record, you know, that those guys, the, bump yeah. the records and the, you know, spill beer on the, on the mixer. And, you know, so these two guys are doing that and I ended up just sort of pushing one, like, uh, it's like he had his back on the booth and I just sort of pushed him off the booth and he turned around and <laughs> It was Matt Damon, and um, uh, yeah, yeah, it was Matt Damon, and um, uh, who was the other guy? Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. (laughs) (laughs) There was two guys like knocking. Did he go to Jason Bond on you? Huh? Did he give you a Jason Bond look like? Don't push no, me no, again, I, man. no. I don't think he, I don't. I don't think he even knew that it was me that pushed him. I think, <laughs> he, I think he just lost his. He thought he just lost his balance. <laughs> they were they were well refreshed. Let's just say that's class. Cause it's just loose lips.